diet. When obsessive mod Jimmy Cooper sent his scooter over the cliff in the closing scene of the 1979 film Quadrophenia, the selected scooter of choice was a remodeled 1970s scooter made to look like a Vespa rally from the 60s. The whining noise of the Vespa, Italian for wasp, was heard screaming to its death like a screaming banshee playing the part of the dying swan in Swan Lake. Only, the scooter didn't die, it just took a sabbatical. In 1946, Piaggio developed the first scooter as a mode of transport for Broken Italy. Who would have thought that it would be the instrumental signature tune to my generation and be the bike of choice for boys in sherry suits and parkas? The time travellers at Artisan have stolen Jodie Whittaker's TARDIS and brought back timeless style and fun to a new age of pizza boys being the natural descendants of Jimmy, Sting and the boys. Their stealth time-travelling scooter uses witchcraft and not a two-stroke as a method of propulsion. Scotty's dilithium crystals engage with the warp drive disguised as a 2,000 watt electric drive system, giving a range of 50 miles with the two removable lithium batteries. The batteries are easily removed and unlike the good doctor, regenerated via a compact charger using a 13 amp plug in about 5 hours, just like your smartphone. Everything about this scooter is very tactile, and the quality of build was high. The fuel, uh, sorry, the lithium drive gauge was accurate and backed up on each battery with its own graphic showing battery condition. The drive was smooth, silent, and ever so slightly unnerving at first. Once you were off, the absence of engine whine, clunky gear change and blue smoke from the rear told you that you had Marty and Doc's spare ride from the future. We liked it. It was a constant source of amazement and amusement to the old mods we showed it to, and a real crowd pleaser. The Artisan Scooter found patrolling the Men and Motors base at Pinewood Studios a natural home, as it would in Puerto Banus, Covent Garden, or in Cannes. Would I take it out on a windy day on the A40? Well, no. That mission will require a bit more than the 2000 watts has to offer, especially if you want more than the 30 miles per hour offered here. Nevertheless, this classic scooter makes for an ideal present for any of you men and motors, two-wheel aficionados. For more information, check out the original article via the link in the description, and subscribe for more content.